by an eight to one vote, it is now much easier to build a casita at your home in Phoenix. The city of Phoenix is hoping that letting homeowners build a separate, smaller living space on their property will help tackle the city's housing crisis. Legalizing ADUs is one way to create quick and affordable housing options, especially for our young people and our old, older residents. In my district, Many families live with their older relatives. The city council Wednesday passed an ordinance which allows people to build accessory dwelling units or casitas on their property with a permit. Now it must be no bigger than 75% of your current home at the same location and it can't be taller than 15 feet. The city tells Arizona's family the primary owner of the property is required to live in either the main house or the casita. And if they use the home as a rental, both living spaces cannot be rented separately. During public comment, most of the people speaking were for council passing this motion. People are looking to house either their parents, a, a college student, and I think this is a step in the right direction. Those against it or who are unsure brought up the issues of how it will be enforced and parking. I think there are a lot of nuances that have not been thought through about this. Council member Jim Waring was the only member to vote against it, saying enforcement will be difficult and thinks it may add to the city's current short-term rental problem. I wish we were addressing the, the short-term rental issue. I just, I can't add to that problem that's been, for the staffers who take those calls for me, been legion in District 2. So I am going to vote no. The mayor says the traffic issue will be brought up in a future committee meeting. As far as the short term rental issue, that is set to be discussed during the September 20th city council meeting. Okay, lots of opinions on that on oh, both sides. Yeah, absolutely. Steven Sarabia, thank you.